चैप्टर फोर एक्सप्लोरिंग मैग्नेट्स क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस बुक क्यूरियोसिटी लेट अस एनहांस आवर लर्निंग क्वेश्चन वन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स फर्स्ट अनलाइक पोल्स ऑफ टू मैग्नेट्स अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर वेयर एज लाइक पोल्स रिपेल ईच अदर सेकेंड द मटीरियल्स डेट आर अट्रैक्टेड टूअर्ड्स अ मैग्नेट आर कॉल्ड magnetic materials third the needle of a magnetic compass rests along the north south direction fourth a magnet always has two poles question 2 state whether the following statements are true t or false f first a magnet can be broken into pieces to obtain a single pole this is false second Similar poles of a magnet repel each other. This is true. Third, iron filings mostly stick in the middle of a bar magnet when it is brought near them. This is false. Fourth, a freely suspended bar magnet always aligns with the north-south direction. This is true. Question three, column one shows different positions in which one pole of a magnet is placed near that of the other. Column two indicates the resulting interaction between them for different situations. Fill in the blanks. Column one, north north. Column two, repulsion. Because like poles repel each other. North south, attraction. Because opposite poles attract each other. Similarly, south north, attraction. South south, repulsion. Question four. Atharv performed an experiment in which he took a bar magnet and rolled it over a heap of steel U clips. Figure 4.15. Bar magnet and heap of steel U clips. This is the bar magnet and this is steel U clips. According to you, which of the options given in table 4.3 is likely to be his observation? Table 4.3. Number of pins attracted by the magnet at its various positions. answer in athar's experiment the bar magnet will attract the most u clips at the poles positions a and c and the least at the middle position b this is because the magnetic force is strongest at the poles and weakest at the middle position a north pole high attraction position b middle low attraction position c south pole high attraction so the observation 1 position a 10 position b 2 and position c 10 will be his observation question 5 reshma bought three identical metal bars from the market out of these bars two were magnets and one was just a piece of iron how will she identify which two amongst the three could be magnets without using any other material answer Reshma can identify the magnets by bringing each metal bar close to the other two bars one by one. The two magnets will attract the iron bar but will repel or attract each other depending on their poles. If a bar repels one bar and attracts another, it indicates that the repelling bar is also a magnet. The one that only attracts and does not repel is the piece of iron. Question 6 You are given a magnet which does not have the poles marked. How can you find its poles with the help of another magnet which has its poles marked? Answer: To find the poles of an unmarked magnet, bring one end of the marked magnet near one end of the unmarked magnet. If they attract, the unmarked magnet's end is the opposite pole. That is, if the marked north pole attracts, then the unmarked end is south pole. if they repel then the poles are similar question 7 a bar magnet has no markings to indicate its poles how would you find out near which end its north pole is located without using another magnet answer suspend the magnet freely using a string the end that points towards the north direction is the north pole of the magnet question 8 if the earth is itself a magnet Can you guess the poles of the earth's magnet by looking at the direction of the magnetic compass? Answer: Yes. We can guess the poles of earth's magnet by looking at the direction of the magnetic compass. 
the north seeking end of the compass needle points towards the geographic north pole of the earth which is actually the magnetic south pole of the earth's magnet question 9 while a mechanic was repairing a gadget using a screw driver the steel screws kept falling down suggest a way to solve the problem of the mechanic on the basis of what you have learnt in this chapter answer the mechanic can magnetize the screw driver by repeatedly stroking it with one pole of a magnet from one end to the other in a single direction this will make the screw driver magnetic and help attract and hold the steel screws question 10 two ring magnets x and y are arranged as shown in figure 4.16 It is observed that the magnet X does not move down further. What could be the possible reason? Suggest a way to bring the magnet X in contact with magnet Y without pushing either of the magnets. Answer: The reason magnet X does not move down further is due to magnetic repulsion. The like poles, either both north or both south, of the ring magnets X and Y are facing each other, causing a repulsive force. that prevents x from moving closer to y to bring magnet x in contact with magnet y without pushing either of the magnets remove one magnet that is lift magnet x off the rod now clip magnet x that is turn magnet x upside down reversing its poles and replace magnet x that is slide magnet x back onto the rod by flipping magnet x the opposite poles of the two magnets will face each other that is one north and one south which will cause an attractive force allowing magnet x to move down and contact magnet y this method utilizes the principle of magnetic attraction and repulsion to achieve the desired outcome without any external force question 11 three magnets are arranged on a table in the form of the shape shown in figure 4.17 What is the polarity north or south at the ends 1 2 3 4 and 6 of the magnets polarity of one end that is 5 is given for you answer based on the figure given here and knowing that magnetic poles always come in pairs that is north and south we can deduce the polarities at the ends given n 5 is north n knowing that the opposite end of a magnet is the opposite pole the polarity at end 6 being the opposite end of 5 will be south s now considering how the magnets are arranged the end of 5 is north and magnetically the polarity flow is from north to south inside the magnet so the end connected to 5 which is end 4 must be south since magnet 3 is connected directly to end 4 end 3 opposite to end 4 will be north n the end connected to 3 which is end 2 will be south s finally the polarities can be stated as follows end 1 north n end 2 south s end 3 north n and 4 south s and 6 south s so friends we have completed all these question answers thank you for watching